thank you for coming. He's going to sing for us and minister to us this morning. And we thank you for coming and being a part of our camp meeting service. Amen. Hallelujah. You ready, brother? Come on. said in Psalms 46 and verses 4 there is a river whereof the streams make glad the city of God ain't you glad songs that could be sung from scripture come on there's a lot of folks singing nowadays you don't know if they're singing to their girlfriend their boyfriend their wife or their husband come on church right there this this song that's being sung is found in the word of God somebody say there is not just there was but there is a river where the streams make glad the city of God the holy place, tabernacles of the Most High. Verse 5, and said, God is in the midst of her, and she shall not be moved. Somebody shout, when you let the Holy Ghost be the center, when you let Jesus be in the middle. Come on, somebody, when you let him be the theme and the reason of your gathering. When he's in the midst of her, she shall not be moved. David said in Psalm 16 and 8, I've set the Lord before me, and because he's at my right hand, I shall not be moved. Again, Psalms 46 and 5, God's in the midst of her, and she shall not be moved. God will help her in that right early. Look at somebody beside you this morning, and you got to turn your neck to do it. Look at them and say, you look like you need help. Hallelujah. Now look back at them and pull up up there where that preacher is and say, hey, that preacher up there, he sure looks like he needs help. <laughs> Hallelujah. I admit I need help more specifically. I need his help. Come on. Yeah. Psalms 121 verse 1 and 2 said, I lift up my eyes unto the hills and whence comes my help. My help comes from the Lord who made the heavens and the earth. Come on. Psalms 124 verses 8 says the same thing. My help comes from the Lord who yeah. made the heavens and the earth. Somebody shout out help will come from JC, not DC. Yeah. Hallelujah. Praise God from heaven, not Washington. Somebody shout our help in this room. They declared in Psalms chapter 42 and verses 5, he said, I'll praise you for the help of your countenance. Friend, this ain't hype, this is help. When I lift my hands and I praise him because there is a river. Come on. See, the river we think of in that scripture or even this song, we think it's water, but it's really blood. Yes, it it's a river of blood that flows from Calvary's hill. Come on, somebody shout, I was healed at that hill. Yes, Hallelujah. In Ephesians 2 verse 13 says, Now ye who are sometimes afar off are made nigh or close by the blood of Christ. Without the blood of Jesus Christ, we couldn't come any closer. We couldn't come to him. We couldn't know him. Somebody lift your hands. That's why we rejoice. There's a bloody river this morning that feels, still flows from Emmanuel's veins. There's a cross, come on, somebody, where the blood was not spilled, which would have been an accident. It was shed, meaning a divine incident on purpose. It was the purpose, the reason why he shed his blood. Hebrews 10 and 19 said, Wherefore, beloved brethren, having boldness entered into the holiest by the blood of Jesus. Yes. Somebody shout, it's by his blood. That we can enter into his presence. Into his presence that still saves. That still sanctifies. That still delivers from demons. That still heals. And still restores. My God, we thank you for your blood. Because God, God, that is the river. That is the river whereby the city of yours is made glad. Lord God, as we assemble in this room today. We're mindful of that healing Calvary. We thank you, Lord, for the blood you shed that gives us the free admission and access to your holy presence this very day. This is why we rejoice. For you said the blood of his son, Jesus Christ, cleanses us from all our sin. First John chapter 1 and verses 7. Thank you for your blood. Come on, if you can't shout for all the reason you ought to be able to shout and turn a few cartwheels and then skip a little step or do something, make some noise because of the blood of the Lamb. Because of his blood. We can do more than enter into a church building. We can come into his presence. Hallelujah. Thank you for that river. Thank you for your blood, Jesus. Thank you for the blood of the Lamb. We worship you. Greater love half the man that is and the man laid down his life for his friends. John 15, 13. Thank you, Lord. This, this love of yours is a bloody love. Lord, you said the life of the flesh is in the blood. Leviticus 17, verses 11. 
Lord, wherever your blood's applied, Holy Spirit, your life abides. That's where you attend. That's where you come. So I lift up the cross. I lift up the blood of the Lamb. I thank you, Lord God. I know without the blood of Jesus, it would not be possible, God, to experience gladness in you. God, the disciples return to you with joy, saying, even the demons are something unto us through your name. And Jesus, you said, the hell I saw Satan fall as lightning from heaven. Verse 19 of Luke 10, that was 17 and 18. And verse 19, Master, you said, behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and on scorpions, and over all power of the enemy, nothing shall out of each church. But in verses 20 of Luke 10, Lord Jesus, you said to your disciples, uh, though they were excited and enthused and full of joy about what they were teaching and preaching and how you were using them through your name to cast the devil out. You said, notwithstanding in this, rejoice not because demons are subject unto you, but rather rejoice because your name is written in the Lamb's book of life. Then it said in Luke 10, 21, and Jesus rejoiced in the Spirit about an hour. Lord, that is worship in the Spirit. That is rejoicing in the Spirit. When we look back to what you did on the cross, when you shed your blood, because Lord, sometimes in Christian living, in Christian ministry, we say in the name of Jesus, and it appears that demons ain't subject to us. Sometimes, God, we pray, and the more we pray, the worse and harder it gets. Lord God, if our foundation of faith and praise is based on just the results that we can see with our eyes or that that we can touch with our hand and handle, Lord God, we'll lose our shout. We'll, we'll lose our praise. Oh, but when we look back to a bloody healing Calvary and realize, Lord God, that Jesus said, don't rejoice just because demons are subject unto you, but let the foundation of your shout be based on this. Your name has been written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Hallelujah. Somebody shout if you've been born again. You want to shout in this room. You want to lift him up. There is a river. And because of that bloody river, we rejoice. Because our names have been written in the lands of life. Rejoice with the sick again. Hallelujah. There's a river. There is a river.
That's the reason we can be here. That's the reason we can be filled. Holy Ghost, there is no power of baptism of you without the blood of the Lamb. There is no Pentecost without the Passover. Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed for us. 1 Corinthians 5 and 7. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the blood of the Lamb. Revelation 1 5 said he has washed us from our sins in his own blood. <laughs> Woo, thank you, Lord. Verse 6 and he has made us kings and priests unto God. Thank you for the blood of the Lamb that gives us dominion over every circumstance, situation, every mountain, every valley, every deep, every illness, every disease. Because of your blood. Thank you for your love. Come on and clap your hands one more time and rejoice.